good morning. So I think you all know how much I love food. So today um, I want to talk about food. And um, yeah, I'm just super excited about it. But anyway, so I'm a nutrition and wellness major, dual majoring in eco-gastronomy. So both my majors have a lot to do with food. So nutrition and wellness, what types of foods you put in your body to fuel your body for certain activities. Um, things like that. And then eco-gastronomy, it's um, actually kind of like a made-up major at my school. Um, and it's all about uh, sustainability and how it relates to food, as well as incorporates, because gastronomy is um, more of just the food side and an awareness and appreciation for your food and where it comes from. So it's more of like a mindful eating thing. Um, and so that's something that I am really, really passionate about and want to talk a little bit about with you. Because even even in nutrition and wellness, mindful eating is one of the key things. Um, and so it's a breakfast talk too, so this is kind of cool. Um, and, but today I wanted to talk about, um, so I've been like talking and briefing you on my workouts, how those feel, things like that. Um, in I have another playlist on YouTube that talks about those. And then um, we've been talking about how to set our goals and how to reach them and things like that with our breakfast talks. Um, and so today I kind of want to talk about how to reach your goals through eating too. Um, and so yes, mindful eating and being aware. I know I have gone through a rough past of with eating. So I love food. I've always loved food, but sometimes it's one of those things where you you aren't being mindful about what you're putting into your body, how it's going to affect you later on and things like that. And I still do it. Like you go to a party and you're going to want to pick out on the desserts whether you're still whether you're hungry or not. Maybe you already just ate, but you want the dessert. And that's a choice that we have to make for ourselves. Like do we eat the dessert every single time or do we um, not rush into eating the dessert like and hope that there's some left for us later when we are hungry or things like that. So it's just being mindful about making those choices. Um, one of the things that I've had to be really mindful about and really my stomach doesn't allow me to forget about it is the fact that now that I am working out harder, so I'm doing a hybrid plan of um, my master's hammer and chisel lifting and strength building program and um, a half marathon training program, um, which is, is just a plan. And so I am doing double workouts most days. So um, this past week, I've gotten into the habit of doing my workouts in the morning, and then in the evening, I go for my run. Um, and that's actually kind of been working out well for me. I thought that I would make an excuse not to go back to the gym and do my run, but if I just get right off the commuter bus, and run to the gym or like yesterday I it kept me going like really fast because I was having to chase the sun because it was I didn't get home until like a little after five and then got caught up so I was literally chasing the sun I, from 5 30 to 6 o'clock I I was just booking it um and so um Anyway, where I'm going with this is, so now I'm doing both of those workouts, which means my body needs more fuel. And I have noticed in this past week, week and a half, because I started this plan last Monday, so February 29th, and um, since then, I have been so much more hungry. My appetite is so much um so much larger and I've been eating more meals and having to eat more protein and more nutrient dense foods and yeah it's just like amazing and eye-opening to me that my body like my metabolism is so much quicker I am needing to fuel myself and I don't want to I don't want to like restrict myself from eating these things. If I'm hungry, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat. Um, and especially um, one one really, really important key to that is that's our, our muscles need this food. When we work out and we get sore, that's because our muscle fibers have torn and now we need to rebuild them with nutrients. And so that's, that's a really cool thing. Um, to think about like every time I'm eating, so I'm eating eggs for breakfast and every time I'm eating, I get to think about, ooh, like 
this is going to help my muscles. So what foods am I eating? Well, I'm eating um, like I just, I just lifted. So now I'm drinking water and I'm eating, I'm, I made a scramble. So I have like a little tabbouleh and that's, I just like to do it because it adds a nice flavor. I saute some spinach, like a nice big handful of spinach and tabbouleh together in a pan, scramble up two eggs, throw them in the pan, um, and then sprinkle a little bit of feta, some red pepper flakes, things like that. And so, so yummy. And then I just scramble it up like and cook it right up. And so that's feeding my muscles. I have my greens, I have like the, the spinach and then the tabbouleh has um, like some parsley and stuff and tomatoes and um, it has some like grains in it and um, then I have my eggs for my protein and then the, the feta adds a little bit of extra, like a little bit of extra fat um, to it and no it's just it's just a good breakfast and then um, I eat every few hours. I've been eating five to six meals a day, which is a lot for me. Like I used to be, when I first started college, I was just running and I was actually kind of, I was actually really restricting myself, not kind of, I was restricting myself um, a lot and I didn't even realize it because I had like become so accustomed to those restrictions. And so I was running at least five miles a day and I was only eating two meals a day. I was eating a big breakfast, a big, big breakfast, which I still eat a big, big breakfast. I was eating a huge breakfast and then I was going to class and then I'd go for my long run and then I'd maybe have a snack after my long run or like a V8. I had those little, little V8s, um, like low sodium V8s and I would like drink one of those or have an apple or something like that. And then I wouldn't go to dinner until like six. Like just because you're in college doesn't mean you don't need to eat or just because you're working out doesn't mean you don't need to eat. It actually means you need to eat more. And so that's one of the things you really need to listen to your body. Um, be mindful of what foods you're putting into your body. And if you ever need help figuring that out, like maybe you're not a big workout person. So maybe, and or even if you are, maybe you don't know what types of foods are good to supplement your um, physical activity. Just different things like that or how much you should be eating depending depending on how, on what your activity level is. Definitely reach out to me. I have tons of tools and tricks up my sleeve and I'm, I'm a nutrition and wellness major. I've learned from my own mistakes. I, so I have tons of experience with this. So definitely reach out, be mind, try to be more mindful and enjoy your own meals today. Just when you're eating, I want you to just think about it. Like, how is, how is this fueling you? How does this make you feel? What types of nutrients are those providing to you? Um, and just different things like that. So like, yeah. Anyway, being more mindful. And yeah, so have a great day, everyone.